This puzzle is a subscriber request. It was requested by Andy Morabian. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. I'm sorry if I didn't. This puzzle requires a, a few different advanced techniques and sometimes a couple of techniques in combination with each other in order to solve it. That's why I liked it. Uh, when I got started with it, I got through a couple of rough spots and thought I was uh, home free, but it turned out that it was, still, it was still quite difficult. So I think it'll be interesting and fun to solve and show you how to solve it. When I'm done solving this puzzle, um, I'm going to share with you an interesting Sudoku fact. So stay tuned for that. To get started, I'm going to just fill in some numbers that are easy. And these should be pretty straightforward, but if you're not sure how I got them, leave a comment and I'll try and answer your questions. Now this 5 is a little bit harder to find. And to find that, I looked at row 2 here found it was missing 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. And this cell sees a 1, 2, 3, and 6 here, so we know that's a 5. Okay, now we're pretty much done with the easier numbers. Now I'm going to place an 8 right here, and you may ask yourself, uh, couldn't this be an 8 right here? But I noticed there's a 3 and a 3 here, and a 7 and a 7 here. So I know these are 3, 7 twins. So that forces the 8 into this cell right here. Once I've placed that 8 there, we can actually complete all the 8s. Now this one I know is an 8 because of double row elimination. One of these is an 8 and one of these is an 8. So we have two boxes with 8s in two of the three rows. In row 7 or 9 here and 7 or 9 here. That covers those two rows for this section. And we know the 8 has to be in row 8 in this box here. So that's how I knew the 8 went there and not there. All right, uh, we put an 8 right here, right here, 8 right there. And that should complete the 8s for the puzzle. Yep, we got all our 8s there, there now. OK, now let's look at this bottom section. We've got a bunch of twins, and we can only solve one of them. Got two five twins there, one six twins, two five, one or one six there, two five there, and five seven here. We can't solve any of these. We can solve this one because we have two we know these are two five twins. Therefore ghost five's here, so we know that's a seven. And that's a five. Alright. Now now it's going to start getting a little trickier and a little bit harder. But I know that this is a 6, this cell right here. Let me show you how I found that. We've got 1, 6 twins here, and we've got a 1 here and ghost 1's here. So we know that 1 is constrained to one of these two cells in box 2. So we have 1, 6 twins here and a 1 in one of these two cells. And I'm going to use what's called the ambiguity rule. If you're not familiar with that rule, go to sudokuprimer.com and, uh, and under the techniques section you can find a write-up about the ambiguity rule. Very good, powerful rule that uh, is very helpful on difficult puzzles. So we have a 1, 6, have 1, 6 twins here, a 1 goes here or here, and because a 1 goes here or here, and we have 1, 6 twins there, we know that a 6 cannot go here or here. So that 
constrains the 6 to one of these four cells. The 6 can only be in one of these three cells in uh, box 1 here because of that 6. So that covers row 1 and row 3 in this section. So we know that the 6 has to be in row 2 using double row elimination again. Um, it has to be in row 2 in box 3. And we've got a 6 there, so we know the 6 goes right there. All right. Now, another thing I want to point out the 6 is actually constrained to one of these two cells in this box because if we use double column elimination we have one 6 twins here we have 6 here, 6 here, so the 6 is constrained to this box, these two cells here and that covers these two columns so we know the 6 in box 2 has to go here or here. We'll use that information here in a, in a little bit can see that there's a 5 missing right here, or the 5 goes there. Okay, now let's look at box 4. We know we have 3, 7 twins that we've determined. What's missing here in this box? We're missing a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we're missing 1, 2, and 4. And with this uh, 5 placed here, we, ha we have what's called a T pattern here. And there's an entire pattern section in SudokuPrimer.com that you might be interested in looking at. But with that T pattern here and the 2 here, we know that the 2 is constrained to this row in this box. We're missing 1, 2, and 4 in this box, and there's a 1 here and goes to 0, so we know this is a 4. Okay, now that we've filled in the four, we have one, two twins there. We can't solve them yet, but uh, maybe we can solve them here pretty soon. In fact, when I place the, the four in here, there's only one more four missing in the puzzle. And that goes right there. Now we have all our fours completed. And now with the one, two twins that we know about, three, seven twins here, let's, let's see if we can find um, where the two goes in this box. We have two, five twins here. We have a five here and a five here, so we know the five is constrained to one of these two cells in box five. And using the ambiguity rule again, two, five twins, and five goes here, we know that two can't be here or here. We know that we have two ghost twos here, so we know these can't be a two, neither of these two cells. So the two in box five is constrained to one of these two cells. And therefore, these one, two twins, we know that this has to be a two. This can't be a two because of these two, these ghost twos here. So now we can solve our one, two twins there. All right. Now with these solved, we can solve our two five twins in box seven here. And with that one, we can solve our one six twins we knew about. Now we have a corner pattern in box one. And you can read up about corner patterns and all the other patterns in the patterns section on SudokuPrimer.com. If we have two numbers in this column outside of this box that's not already in the box, we know that these are those two numbers. We've got a 4 and an 8 that's already in there, but we have a 5 and a 1 that isn't. So these are 1 and 5 here. We can solve them. Okay, now we just have a, a two 6 twins left in this box. Um, <clears throat> got a five that goes in one of these cells and if you remember our two five twins here and our five constrained to one of these two cells here using double column elimination we know that these two cells are covered so the five has to go there in box two
All right, now. We have a two have two six twins here and the six goes here or here. So we know that two can't go here or here, so it's constrained to one of these three cells here. But that doesn't help us really find which cell it goes in. But let's look at this row right here. We're missing one, two, five, six, two, six, nine. And we've got so one, this is a 2, 6, or a 9. There's a 9 there. We know the six, is, the 6 is constrained to one of these two cells. So we know that's a 2. Now that we've filled in that 2, we can solve our 2, 6 twins there. And we can fill in the 6 right there. And we also know that that's a 9. Alright, now let's look at row 2 here. We're missing 1, 2, and 3. Got a 2 there, so that's a 1 or a 3. 1 and 3 twins. So the 2 goes there, and we can solve the 1 and 3. Right. Now let's see, we're missing a 2 and a 9 in this column, and there's a 2 there. Now with this one here, we can solve the one six twins in this box. And with this two, we can solve the two five twins in box eight. All right, now we're missing six and seven there in this column. Two and nine here. Three and five there. And these are three seven twins we mentioned earlier. Right. These are three and seven. And we've only got three numbers left one, seven, and nine. got it. All right. Well, using the uh, uh, combination of techniques a couple of times helped us find, uh, um, let's see, the six up here and uh, there were a couple of other, um, yeah, combination of tricks here to find the one and two twins here. And there are a couple of other spots that were kind of difficult that we were able to get through. So, um, well, I promised that I would share an interesting Sudoku fact with you. And here it is. You've probably noticed that some puzzles, some Sudoku puzzles are missing a number at the very beginning. Like, here's an example. In this puzzle, there's not a single seven. That's pretty common. You've probably noticed that before. Um, all the other numbers are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, no sevens, eight, and nine. So that's pretty common. But did you know that you cannot start a puzzle, a puzzle can't be solved if two of the nine numbers are missing? I mean, it might be able to be solved, but you will have two solutions. And having more than one solution for a Sudoku puzzle makes it an invalid puzzle. Um, let, me ex let me illustrate that here. Um, we've, let's say if we took the, f there are four ones in here. There's no sevens. If we took these four ones out and we could still solve the puzzle, with the, the ones missing. We could put the sevens in the ones positions and the ones in the sevens positions and that would make the puzzle um, 
invalid because there would have two solutions. So you will never see a puzzle, a Sudoku puzzle, um, at the beginning with more than one number missing. So I thought that was kind of an interesting fact, something interesting to think about. So, well, thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate your your support and your subscribing to this channel and all your comments. I enjoy reading the comments. So thank you for sharing Sudoku with me. I'll see you on the next video.